Hello, I'm just going to show you a quick script I made to put sound effects automatically on the timeline without needing to search for them. You can do this with auto hotkey how I did it and hook it up to a second keyboard or you can do it with any macro software. Basically how the script works is I will press a button and it'll show up on the timeline wherever the track indicator is. So how it works is up here in your project, I've created a search bin called LBSFX. I created a search bin with description. So I create description and I put LBSFX and that would be the name, but I already have one so I don't need to do it. And then if I go over here on the description, every single sound effect has LBSFX in the description. So if we just type LBSFX, only these sound effects and all these stupid bins uh, will show up. But the important thing is the LBSFX folder will appear at the top. If it appears anywhere else, if you just search for the sound effect, it'll be buried under whatever folders you have sound effects in. So you need that set up beforehand and you need to get all the sound effects you want to pull uh, that tag. Uh, it could be any tag you want. It could be like Minecraft sounds or whatever. I don't know. And then this is the actual script in auto hotkey. If you have macros, uh, you can just, I think this is the only section you really need. And then that. Um, so here's how it works. I'm going to block mouse movement. It's just so my mouse doesn't move and I don't screw it up somehow. Uh, I do need a name. So FS, SFX search when I hit shift M, I will put in LB SFX punch fixed. So it puts the name in here, put blocks the input, sends shift one, which highlights this panel. Shift F, which just activates the search bar. Backspace to clear out any previous searches. Inputs the name of the sound effect, which here, if you're doing it in a macro, just type in the sound effect, I believe. Uh, it sleeps for 100 seconds. This is just, just give it some time to think. Send enter. That'll basically complete the search. So if I do this and I hit enter, it'll bring it down into this box. And then hit tab. This you can ignore if we hit uh, enter from here and then we hit tab it'll bring us out of the box and then sleep for 200 seconds that 200 seconds is really important without that sometimes the script won't work fast enough or, or will work too fast for premiere pro and it'll just put a period in the description and it that's not what you want so then after that it clicks home sometimes it'll move it like down to like a different random folder home just brings it back to the very top give it another 100 milliseconds and then we hit down because there should only be one search for each item if there's more than that uh, just change the names around sometimes the search function in premiere is a little weird sleep for another 100 seconds just to make sure or 100 milliseconds just to make sure and send period which is just oh, overwrite i typically try to put my time, my playhead where I need it, and then put the sound effect right there. But um, you can do what you want. And then I bring the mouse input back in just so I can you know, move the mouse. Uh, that's basically it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll try and answer them. Cool, bye.